join me today for a special edition of Trek Trendy TV, where I take you to Dubai for a long weekend. Good morning and welcome to Dubai. We arrived quite late last night, ready for 36 hours in the wonderful Emirates to enjoy the sun and relaxation. Bring it on. So I'm in the world's largest mall, just outside the world's largest aquarium, next to the world's tallest and largest building, the Burj Khalifa. So we've got me here at Burj Khalifa. This is at the top, so on the 124th floor. Not quite a kilometre up, but nearing the top. A few more floors going upwards, but over here you can actually see shapes of a road over the downtown part of Dubai. Burj Khalifa took just five years to build and stands at the world's tallest man-made structure. Three of us touring Dubai. Look at that view. The metro in Dubai is a very affordable way of getting around. It's only a sort of a 5 AED to 6 AED for one trip, which works out at about one British pound. The metro runs throughout the city, but also you can use the SkyTrain network as well. When many think of Dubai, they don't think of any sort of history associated with it in terms of older buildings, as it just seems like the modern, the glitz and the glamour. Here is Dubai Fort, so the oldest part of Dubai which you can go and visit today, which is located just over the other side of the creekside from Deira City. As you can see, there's also a replica of one of the old boats used as well. One of the traditional doughs, the original ways of uh, getting around the rivers around Dubai, costing about one dirham each, it's equivalent of roughly 25 pence, and get across the river over to the other side of Dubai Creek. What would a uh, trip to Dubai be without? <laughs> Looking the part. Shake William. We were staying at the Pullman Deira city centre, which was modern with great facilities and very comfortable. That evening for dinner, we took an Uber over to the Madanak grounds on Jumeirah Beach. Join me on the grounds of the Jumeirah Beach Resorts. You get around the Madanak on Venetian style canals, and here we're in one of the boats heading to the Thai restaurant we were eating in. What better way to conclude my time in Dubai for an iconic site like this, Burj Al Arab. So I've uh, just checked into the Emirates Business Class Lounge. You've actually got an entire floor dedicated to the lounge. Uh, the first class lounge is actually on the higher floor. Uh, facilities are good. You've got a, a buffet, shower, shoe shine, fine dining, which is all very nice indeed, and direct access to the gates for boarding. And that concludes my long weekend in Dubai. To find out more about this trip and others, check out the Trek Trendy YouTube channel or log on to trektrendy.com.